Hi there, my name is Lorna and today I'm going to take you through one of my creative exercises with marble ink. I hope you enjoy. Welcome to my studio. Blue marble ink. Simply squirt it. Patterns. Piece of postcard. Maybe a bit of green, a bit of green. Squirt. Another one. Just added a bit of yellow. Yellow, can you see that? Yellow. White piece of paper. Interesting. Blue, green, and yellow. Can you see it? One more. Interesting. A bit messy. I think we need a bit more blue. Blue. Squirt. Get one of these. Mess it up a bit. More paper. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. One more. Interesting. Okay, so now we have 16 marble ink patterns with green, blue, yellow, a bit of pink, and I wish you'll leave them there to dry. Okay, so the marble ink paintings have dried, and I'm going to collect them up. Random order. Here they are. So now I have piled them up and put holes, holes in the bottom and I'm going to get my needle and thread and sew them into a book. I'm just drawing some some of the images and pictures and people I can see inside the painting. So here's a person's nose. Okay. 
Now it is time to write a narrative. Tell the story of the marble ink. So I look at the pictures I have created and I tell their story. I've decided that this person here is called Winifred. So I write her name here, Winifred. And I begin to narrate Winifred's story, going through each of the pictures. A different character, or is it the same character? Um, and I just continue the narration, the story, and it appears by itself. So I hope you enjoy what I have created, and hopefully this will inspire you to create your own stories. You don't need Marble Ink, but you can access it very easily off Amazon, or hopefully nowadays, because of the coronavirus, it won't be too difficult to access Marble Ink. Um, but you can just use felt tip pens or watercolour or anything you wish. Hope this inspires you.